Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am coming up with a very unique business case which is needed in the market and how we can serve that within Odoo online by using the warehouse and automation management. So the business case is I have you know different different products which are from different category like I have beer and cheese cubes which are frozen items and I have coffee tea and many more items which are from grocery as a category and I do maintain two different warehouse frozen and groceries as a separate warehouse so the business case is whenever any order comes from the customer which has all this product or different different products in their order but my fulfillment should be done from the respective warehouse because in Odoo sales order we can choose only one warehouse we can't choose both the warehouse so how can we do that so I am now going to explain how Odoo can be configured so you can achieve this particular business case whether the order is coming from a backend or from online so let's see that now I am going into routes where I can see delivery routes. Okay, so what I will do is for frozen item, I will enable this route on sales order line. Okay, and then for grocery also, I will enable routes on sales order, which will give me an advantage whenever I am preparing any new sales order for any customers. Now I can choose the routes. Okay, so for beer, for coffee, I can select the route here. It is frozen item, it is grocery. With this manual way, definitely I can achieve what I need. If I confirm this order, two delivery order will be created. But what I need is, I need automation. So how we can achieve that automation? So let's see. So over here in sales order, we can use studio to create the automation and that's the tricky part. So what I will do is I will go into studio and then I will create my automation. So I will go to new automation like selection of warehouse frozen. So that is my and I want to do that, you know, on the basis of my sales order. So I am into sales order, but what I need is I want to go further into automation rule to get it over sales order line. So I will have to go to automation rule master and from here I need to prepare like the sales order line is my model where I need the trigger. So frozen items I need to prepare one automation and that automation will work based on the save condition and it should apply on the item that is coming from my product template let's say product template and then product category which is frozen so only for those items which are coming from frozen category which will have that okay then it will select the sales order item line and when updating you know order line for order lines I need that to be trigger okay so I will keep all this when updating and then here is my action which I need to perform to update the record on line level so what I will do is I will select product template
product category and then routes by setting it to for this I have chosen the frozen so what I will choose is my delivery route should be here that is frozen this one action I have written for frozen item so it will automatically select based on save based on the conditions now I will create another route for grocery items another automation on sales line where my trigger is on save and apply on I will prepare product then product category is equal to groceries so for those item I need this to be happen and when I am updating order lines order lines I would require this to happen and my action will be I want to update the product product category and then routes by setting it to this delivery route as this so now I am done with this automation whenever I am creating any new sales order what I will do is I will add my product here I will add my product coffee enabling my route over here so on save button now it should come with my preferred route so now let's check the automation rules so my condition is here now over here I need to update order line so sales order so let me check the order line where my product is there on the product so I will say like let me just directly check the route route should go to this frozen item okay. and then for grocery I will change the condition so I want to update route to this groceries so this is I have improved my condition I am going back to sales order removing and adding both the item again like beer coffee as soon as I save now you can see my routes has been automatically set now if I add the product of cheese cube save the route will be automatically added the same way when I you know want to sell these items on my shop for all this way like cheese cube let me publish it then beer let me publish then tea let me publish that 
and then copy let me publish that so i have this many items to shop and whenever any customers who are ordering different different category of item like beer and coffee within single order the order will be here okay so now for beer and all the order will be placed okay with standard delivery and confirm machine will be sent but yeah it is not you know paid so it will not confirm and order will be lying here so here now my order is at this stage where i have selected and all these routes are automatically set even from website order recently right so this is how now we can also fulfill all the items from whatever we have got at this stage so now i think we can do many things either from website also or from um, you know okay like this beer and coffee which is recently created and the routes are automatically set and as soon as i confirm to delivery will be triggered for both the respective warehouse and then warehouse guy can pick that delivery orders from their frozen item with respective sales order number from their frozen warehouse and over here for this grocery warehouse with the item so that's how now we can automate the entire process of choosing the warehouse based on product category either in sales order or in website orders and my fulfillment can be divided into two so we don't need any customization or any custom module but we just need to configure or do right way so you can achieve this hope this will help many people to achieve such a workflow to automate their you know warehousing and delivery process based on product category thank you guys